So here we go, guys, and we're going to look into the Arrow, Arrow Blu-rays, the uh, palms especially, and uh, look at the uh, alternate covers, and basically just uh, show you what's on them. First, I'm just kind of neat when I open these up here, where I told you I'm getting hold of the palms. The uh, first thing that I open up is this. I get this little slip here, and it's the uh, it's a Palma collection. Now I already have Blow It on a uh, and Criterion, so I didn't need to get that one again. But there is one other one that's not actually mentioned on here. So if you can see, if you like the Palma, then you'll probably know the Arrow DVD, the Blu-ray that's missing from here. Anyway, so you open it up, and you get a great booklet, really thick, nice one. Uh, some great art, some great stuff on the inside. This is one of the thicker, I gotta say, booklets that they did. Just some really, really great stuff. I love the arrow booklets. Uh, there's just so much, so many great pictures, so much great articles in here. Uh, you gotta read the booklets when you uh, when you get them. Dressed to kill American Jello. Did you just love that picture? Of course, we now know that uh, the nude sequence was actually uh, Nancy Allen. So what does Dress to Kill have on it exactly? Well, first off, we're going to look at the, uh, the, the alternate art. So this is the, uh, the Blu-ray, right here. And the alternate art, of course, you'll recognize as the uh, poster for Dress to Kill. I'm going to keep the new art on there. I kind of like the way that one's done. I love the fact that I have a uh, Brian De Palma collection thing in here that's really cool considering I was actually here to collect Brian De Palma. So we're going to look at what's on here. There, On this one here we have uh, optional English sound book and all that stuff. Symphony of Fear, producer George Leto discusses his work relationship with Brian De Palma. Dressed in White, star Angie Dixon discusses her role in the film. Uh, Dressed in Purple, star Nancy Allen discusses her role in the film. Lessons from filmmaker, actor Keith Gordon, of course, who was played the son of this, was going to be a director himself. Uh, discusses Dress to Kill, the making of a thriller documentary on the making of Dress to Kill, with, you know, with the entire cast. Unrated, rated, and TV rated comparison featurette. Slashing Dress to Kill, uh, Brian De Palma, Nancy Allen, Keith Gordon discuss the changes that had to be made to avoid an X rating for this film. Original theatrical trailer, gallery of behind the scenes images, I love those. Of course, the reversible artwork. Collector's booklet, which is amazing, and uh, just some really, really great stuff. So that's that is Dress to Kill, guys. Next up, we'll look at Sisters. And this is the uh, Criterion has a DVD of this one. Uh, this is definitely the superior version of Sisters get if you want to get the film. Uh, we have the uh, What the Devil Hath Joined Together, uh, Brian De Palma and Sisters. We have a, a really cool and all-new interviews with Louise Rose, Jennifer Saul, the actress from the film, Paul Hirsch, and unit manager Jeffrey Hayes. And of course, this is really cool. It's one I'm really interested in seeing. And I'm probably going to put on right after this video. It's called The De Palma Digest, a film-by-film -film guide to the director's career by Craig Mike Sutton. we got uh, archive audio interviews with Star William Finley, of course, who's passed away. And William Finley, we know, who's also acted in and starred in this movie, Phantom of Paradise. A theatrical trailer. Gallery of Sisters promotion material from around the world. I'm really interested in checking that out. Uh, Reversible Sleeve, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, illustrated Collector's Booklet, just some really cool stuff. So we open it up. This is a two to set, by the way. Here's what we got. It's a very unusual, uh, but it's the poster cover, actual, of the uh, film Sisters. What the devil hath joined together, let no man cut asunder. It was one of the different film for the Palma, and I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, here's the uh, booklet that came with this one. So I get that one right now. Of course, we got good old William Finley on the back, and tell me he does not look like. Uh, come on. John Waters right there. He does. He does so look like John Waters. Uh, it's a great big booklet. Scoring it. There's just some great, great interviews in here. Some amazing stuff. Next up, look at Obsession. Unfortunately, this one does not have the uh, shooting script with it. If anybody has an extra shooting script, they can let me know. Uh, and the other cover for this one's actually pretty cool. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, which is 
Fascination, which it was called. So if anybody has seen the movie Fascination and realized this obsession for Cliff Robertson and Genevieve, Genevieve should let me know. There's a small booklet with this one here. I do mean small one. Uh, just some uh, excerpts from the uh, from the shooting script, actually. A couple of pictures, but mostly it's excerpts from the shooting script, which I would like to have in full, so... And I grabbed City of the Walking Dead. Sooner or later, I'm going to see which doubles of these I got and see if there's anybody else that uh, wants to trade to get like all the art cards from uh, Arrow. This one here has a uh, obsession revisit the 37 minute documentary on it with Brian De Palma, Cliff Robertson, and Je Genevieve. We got uh, this was oh, this was one of the big reasons ones early Brian De Palma short films. We got Wanton's Wake and The Responsive Eye, two really early films by uh, Brian De Palma, which was really really a uh, I love this. Of course, his art by uh, the dude signs actually, so uh, that will be known to uh, to my good friend T J Pyramid, and uh, your booklet with a career with Brad Stevenson. Um, not a lot of features on that one, but I'm glad to have that film. Now this is the one. This was the biggie. This is the one that started the getting the Brian De Palma session this time around. Phantom of the Paradise. So we opened it up. Blu-ray's got like a Phantom of Paradise logo on it. This is, of course, you'll know this if you've got the uh, Steelbook. Cause this is a Steelbook cover for it. I wasn't the biggest fan of the cover, so I didn't go for the Steelbook. It does, however, definitely deliver with, of course, we have the uh, the Rima Williams. I right, kind of like I said, I'm going to see which doubles I got and see if anybody's collecting these things. Uh, Phantom of the Paradise. Love this one. It's a huge book. Of course, there's a Beef. Jared Graham. Uh, good old Swan himself. Just really different, really cool one. And now let's see the features on this one. This one has the, the most feature-wise. Though those two uh, short films on Obsession are really exciting me. There's a 50-minute documentary on the making of the film with Brian De Palma and, uh, you know, the late Sarah William Finley is there. Um, Paul Williams, Jessica Harper, who I'm totally in love with. She's amazingly beautiful. Jared Grant. Uh, all new 72-minute interview with Paul Williams by Del Toro, which I mentioned before. The Swan Song Fiasco, a new video piece exploring the changes made to the film in post-production and why they were made. Uh, acting interview with uh, archive interviews. Acting interview. Archive interview with costume designer Rosanna Norton, who did the, you know, the costumes for this one here. Did the uh, Phantom costume. William Finley talking about the uh, Phantom of the Paradise doll. Uh, Paradise Lost and Found. Alternate takes and bloop, bloopers from the cutting room floor, which would be awesome to check out. We got our radio spots, original trailers, gallery of rare stills, including behind the scenes images by photographer for Randy Black. Of course, the booklet that I just showed you there. Reversible cover as well, and just an incredible amount of stuff. Those are the De Palma Blu rays from Arrow that I got shown. And you know, there are three others here that I will leave for well, another video. And we'll, we'll look at the features that are in those. There's some pretty amazing stuff in there that I want to show you guys and talk about. I'm very excited to have the arrows. So while this is uploading, I'm going to watch the De Palma Files one and have some tea finally. So it's uh, time for tea.